Tides won six of seven games to start the month of June, but really haven't been able to find that second gear since then. They began this day seventh place in the division of the International League, but the one thing they have not had a problem with all season, that is hitting the ball. Tides taking on the Atlanta Braves affiliate, the Gwinnett Stripers. First inning, men on first and second for Gunnar Henderson. He singled in the first. That one just fair down the first base line. Both runners come home to score. That's a two RBI triple for Henderson, the youngest player in the International League at 20 years old. That made it 3-0 in the third. Bottom fourth. Henderson sends a charge through that one, deep to center and gone. His fifth home run of the year and the 42nd overall pick by the Orioles three years ago makes it 6-0 Norfolk. He's one double away from the cycle. Then in the sixth, his last at bat on a full count. Henderson lines it to right field, a four for four night. Henderson, who made his AAA debut just three weeks ago, is the first tied to hit for the cycle since Timo Perez 22 years ago. You're the first Tide to hit for the cycle since 2000. You weren't even born back then. No, sir, that's pretty funny. <laughs> How does that feel? Uh, it's really awesome to be able to have that. That's, back, that's my first one ever, so to be able to do it here is really awesome. And finally, I hear that tomorrow is your 21st birthday. This is a heck of a birthday gift, ain't it? Yes, sir, it is. It's one of the best. And a heck of a night for the left fielder, Kyle Stowers. Stowers towers that one over the tin roof in right. His 14th home run of the season. He went two for three with three RBI, but this night belonged to the top gunner. Gunner Henderson leads the Tides to an 8-2 win. What a night at Harbor Park in Norfolk. Nathan Epstein for the Sports Rack.